Now, we're used to travel warnings to some parts of the world, but not so much London. It's the result of a two-wheeled crime wave hitting locals and Aussie tourists. It's like stealing candy from your baby. I was hit in the face. I was on the floor. Police have lost control of the streets. This is lawless London, moped mayhem in one of the world's great cities. Where scooters have become the main tool of gangsters in a crime wave sweeping the British capital. It's an epidemic, and it? It's going to get worse. The gangs are incredibly brazen, attacking even in broad daylight on busy tourist streets. Everything from quick snatches of iPhones to violent assaults. Some using knives, even guns. There are the fast-moving smash and grabs on places like high-end jewellery stores. And then the despicable attacks on easy targets. Even targeting a woman and her child who has to run across a busy road to escape. Serious crime has soared in London. The murder and it's ruining people's lives. We hear this loud explosion. We run round to the door. Um, the door has now been blown off. It was Christmas Eve and a scooter gang was ram raiding Katie's home in an affluent area of southwest London. I was hit in the face. I was on the floor. Um, one of them was on top of me, wrestling with my hands, looking for jewellery. When her American mother-in-law yelled to get a gun, the attackers fled. I mean, we were very fortunate they didn't have weapons, um, you know, knives, hammers, there was no acid thrown at us. You know, all of these three things are kind of their, you know, preferred method of attacking individuals. The statistics on this crime wave are staggering. More than 22,000 moped-enabled attacks in the past 12 months. Up 50% since the previous year. 1,000% in the past three years. Half a decade ago, there were only 900 crimes. There's three people there. I mean, take this guy in, in the pink shirt, for example. You know, he's totally oblivious to what's going on. Uh, he's got no idea what's going on behind him. Um, and a moped, a moped criminal will simply come down the road here, they'll see him on his phone, yeah. they'll dart back up here behind him and take that phone right out of his hand. Retired Scotland Yard detective David Vidisset says the attackers are mostly teenagers, 14, 15 years old. It's, it's, it's a real, real problem. And the police are, are struggling to get on top of it. They uh, came up onto the pedestrian path between cars and a house and me and, yeah, snatched my phone as I was looking on Google Maps. Aussie women Kim Stainthorpe and Jess Catlin have both been hit. Just walking home from work, 6pm, footpath, headphones in, texting, and they came up behind me on the footpath to grab my bag off my shoulder. Initially, she didn't let go and was dragged down the footpath. And Jess, you were like hurt and injured. Yeah, injured really badly. The criminals steal the mopeds, and then it's simple. If you need 10 seconds, I can get like two or three points. There's a pretty clear reason mopeds are at the heart of this crime wave. On London streets, targets are easy to spot. The snatch can be quick, but it's the getaway that's the key. Off the congested roads, down the little back streets and side alleys. Even if police wanted to follow them, it's practically impossible. It's a wild ride zooming through the streets on powerful bikes, weaving in and out of traffic. A few years ago, we wouldn't have thought twice about knocking these kids off on, and we did. We'd use our van, we'd knock them off. But the law changed. Police officers can be held liable if someone's injured in a chase. So basically, these gangs and these moped riders know they can get away with it. They can act with impunity, and that, that's the real problem, is they can do pretty much what they like. You've got one man off on foot, one man off on foot. Not, according to the Met Police officer, Detective Superintendent Lee Hill. This crime issue is a problem for us. It's something that we are tackling day in, day out um, across London. So actually, I think we're now about to turn the corner. They've set up a specialist moped crime unit and enlisted new equipment, motorbikes, more like what the criminals use. The slimline motorbike allow us to go to those areas like the tight alleyways, the tight environment where traditionally we haven't been able to continue with the pursuit. Laws are being reviewed as well. Arms robbery, six people. 
Still, Londoners are becoming fed up and they're fighting back. Bystanders helped foil a watch shop robbery on Regent Street. We see more you know, builders and scaffolders and, um, and things like that uh, and people trying to sort of overpower them. But it can have tragic consequences. Just seconds after this moped gang was caught on camera, they tried to steal a young father's Rolex watch. He initially refused and was stabbed to death. This crime epidemic has many fearing the future as the victim count mounts. The police did say to me, they were like, you should have just let your bag go because you could have had acid thrown on you. They're just getting more brazen. It just makes me think, what's coming? You know, what's next? It's out of control and some travel insurance companies are now issuing warnings for Australians travelling to London.